Good YouTube. It's your boy Doyle back with another video. And today's video is part three of Car Combo. Now we're gonna talk about the distractions, man. How to stay locked in, man, during the journey, the long, stressful journey, bro. So this applies to people that's trying to grow their account and pass challenges and get paid off from profit rooms, okay? Now, ask yourself this one thing. What is serving you and what is not serving you? Who is serving you and who is not serving you? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. At the beginning of my journey, bro, I, I was in a relationship. I had boys that I was cool with. They all was gone. I had to let them all go. Why? Because the ex didn't believe in the vision. I'm taking away time from her. She wanted attention, she gotta go. My boys at that time in college, bro, they was on nothing, smoking weed every single day, not trying to get no money, and had to go, okay, period. People at my job want to hang out, talk about nothing all day. I'm trying to get to the money, had to go. I can't hang out with you. We could be cool, but I can't hang out with you. So I eliminated anybody that wasn't serving me in any type of way, shape, or form, bro. Like, if you're not mentally stimulating me, like, we're not talking about improving, getting to the bag self-improvement bro i was not rocking with nobody that wasn't on that period and i'm still not if you're not trying to get to the bag if we can't make money together if you ain't trying to get to no type of money at all bro i'm not gonna speak to you that much i'm gonna just be real that's just how i'm wired if you're really not trying to improve i'm not trying to improve with you i'm gonna just send you over there i'm gonna go about my way you don't go about your way and that's just what it's gonna be um so distractions bro Eliminate those people. I'm going to just say that. You're going to have to. Because if, if they, bro, if they've been watching you on your journey and they just see that you're you're trying to work towards something and they haven't even thought about, like, damn, like, I, I see her. I see them doing their thing. And they haven't even acknowledged it or even tried to do something else. It don't have to be for us. Just pay attention to what they do. If people keep talking about ideas and shit and they're not even, even trying to do anything, bro, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. I know people right now that got the best business ideas, but it's not taking action. And, bro, nobody's going to make you a millionaire, bro. Nobody's going to make you a six-figure earner. You got to apply that shit. Like, y'all, like, people be thinking that people that's rich don't work hard. They are the hardest workers. Period. And I'm not talking about people that inherited wealth. I'm talking about people that got out the mud and are now making six figures millionaire status. Like, they work hard. I'm telling you right now. So, I stay away from people that just they got the good ideas and you I got this good idea but you ain't taking no action. But I stay away from people like that. Distractions. Anybody that's just not on anything, I just stay away from. Like this video can be cut into like two minutes because I don't deal with distractions. I don't. Whether it's women, uh, friends, whatever. If I see that you're just not on anything, I would not rock with you. It don't have to be with trading. I just want to see are you trying to improve your life because I'm trying to go higher. I'm not trying to stay right here. You know what I'm saying? It took me years to get to this point, and I'm not about to get to this point and still deal with people that's not on anything. Period. And it's no, it's no offense. It's no offense. I'm just trying to go even higher. I'm not done yet. I promise you, I'm not done yet. I promise you. So, if I'm trying to aim higher, why would I still go back to the, my old self? My old self was wasn't on anything. I was not motivated to do anything. I was just going to school, going to work, like sleep, no purpose, just sleep, bro, like. Waking up with just no sense of urgency. I'm not trying to get no money. I'm not trying to do anything but just go to work and eat and and, go, and and sleep. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, bro, distractions, bro. Block out the noise. If people being negative around you, bro, and you, and you can't get out of that situation, just stay locked in, bro. Listen to podcasts. Listen to stuff like this is going to uplift you. I tell people all the time, bro, when I was in my job, I would listen to people like Eric Thomas, man. Shout out to Eric Thomas, bro. He really helped me when I used to get stressed and overwhelmed and felt like, man, I don't know if I can do this. Like, I listened to a lot of podcasts, bro. Like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just kept just kept me locked in, kept me wired in. Because, like, we need that. As men, bro, we need that, man. We need somebody to be like, okay, that just get you, like, get you fired up. Like, okay, I'm about to get to this bag, bro. Like, I'm about to get to this money. Like, we need that, bro. Every man need that if he got a got a purpose. Now, if you don't got no purpose, you don't need that. You just go work at your job and just do what you do. You know what I'm saying? You don't need that. But for me, bro, I need that. I need that sometimes. Even me, I need that sometimes. Because, um, like, everything don't just be 
Don't just be colorful and, and unicorns and fucking rainbows. Like, I be stressed out about shit. I'm a human, bro. Like, I deal with shit all the time. Family issues, like, you know what I'm saying? People just coming at me crazy. YouTube, people be weird on YouTube. Like, bro, I'm a real human, bro. So sometimes I need to be getting lifted up sometimes. Like, people got to check on the strong friends, too, bro. Like, I'm mentally strong, but sometimes I get stressed out. Sometimes I got to step away. That's why I don't be on YouTube like that as I used to, because my mental health is more important. People ask me, bro, why don't you post every day on YouTube? Bro, I don't need to. I know how to trade. I'm already making money. I don't need to do that. And for two, um, I don't I don't feel like I need to give my energy away to stuff that's been negative. And I'm going to be honest, man. YouTube is the most negative platform, I, I promise you. If you make content creation, you know. If you don't, then you don't know. You feel me? So... Um, I don't really I put my time into stuff That um, I feel like it's worth putting my time in You feel me So distractions bro You gotta, you just gotta block out the noise If you got haters, block them out If you got people that's down you, block them out They gonna wanna be a part of your shit Years from now, I promise you They gonna want to Because people don't respect you until you get results I promise you people do not care About the grind, they do not care about what are you working towards? They only want to see the end result. That's how people are wired, man. I promise you. They do not care about that you're you're trying to save up to put ten thousand to your trade account. They want to see you already at ten k. They want to see the Lamborghini and all that. Like, bro, people don't respect the grind. They only respect the results. You know what I'm saying? So, block out the distractions. If you're on your journey and your mom being irritating, your siblings ain't ain't, ain't um acknowledging that you working towards something for them. Like, it's crazy because people won't respect the grind, but people don't understand that the grind is for the fam. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not doing this for just me. I'm doing this so we can stop being on some poor ass shit. Like, that being poor is not what's up, bro. It is not what's up. And, and, and being rich is not everything either, but I'd rather live comfortably than be stressed and uncomfortable. I'm worrying about if I can afford that. Can I afford that? I remember those days, bro. I remember those days. Like, people like people that know me personally, bro, like, I don't even know if people knew how much I had in my bank account when I was in college. Like, bro, I didn't have shit in there, bro. Like, I was praying for a damn refund check. I'm like, man, I can't wait to get this refund check because I don't got no damn money. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm just be real. Like, came straight out of the mud trying to figure something out. So... Bro, distractions, man, got to block them out, man. Like, period. There's no easier way. When, you, when you're reaching a level of success, you're going to get haters, bro. People are going to doubt you. They're going to feel like, oh, you're not it. And you just, you just got to keep showing people that, bro, I'm really that guy, bro. Like, you just got to just pe keep showing that. No, you don't have to. You really don't have to. But I'm just saying, like, you're going to get haters regardless. People are going to doubt you. People are going to throw their little, little hate on you. It's going to happen, bro. All successful people have haters, bro. You feel me? So, if you're getting distracted, man, just stay locked in. You're going to have to stay locked in, bro. Or, if you're not locked in or over distractions, bro, then you don't really want it, bro. You're not that locked in. you kind of locked in. You know what I'm saying? But um, I hope this, this video made, uh, made somebody really realize, bro, people that's trying to distract you or that don't really care about what you're working towards, bro, understand that they're not really going anywhere in life. I'm just be real. Everybody is not meant to be a CEO. Everybody is not meant to be a boss. That's why there are employees. I, bro, I've been trying to wake people up for so long. And then I realized some people are employees. And that's okay. That is okay to work a nine to five. That's, that's okay. What's not okay is that you wanted to be a boss and you didn't do anything about it. You just stay nine to five. You just stay being an employee. That's when it's not okay. But if you are complacent with where you at in life, that's okay. But don't be complaining when you're living check to check. I just, I just got to say that. When you're living check to check, do not complain. You know what I'm saying? But stay locked in on your goals, man. Fuck the distractions. They're going to happen. People going to try to throw you off your path. But if you really want it, you're going to stay locked in, man. But that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out.